Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to talk about how to grow a small vegetable garden. Well, if you live in the city or you have a small property or you just have a balcony and that's all you have to grow things on, you can still grow a beautiful vegetable garden. And I always say less is more. You don't need 20 of the same plants. The idea is to set aside an area, whether you use a kiddie pool with holes in the bottom of it or use wood and make a big square garden and just break it into little sections. There's many different ways that you can grow vegetables. If they're vegetables that grow in your climate easily, you can start them early in the spring, whereas some varieties you don't start till a little bit later. So do your research, read the packages, and just follow the directions. And most vegetables come with, are in the seed packet, and it'll tell you right when to plant them. And you just put them right into the ground directly, or you can start them in seed trays ahead of time. But either way, they'll grow for you really well. And again, by using a combination of vegetables, you'll be very happy. So grow tomatoes with broccoli, and don't forget your Brussels sprouts. And it only takes one or two plants to have a nice garden. And just by growing some potatoes and garlic, you will find even carrots. You can come up with nice dinners all summer through fall. And even in a small vegetable garden, you can enjoy the benefits of your, all of your vegetables all summer through the fall. And I found even into the fall, if I have a lot of one type of vegetable, whether it's peppers or broccoli or cauliflower, um, you can actually cut them up and freeze them. And that way you can enjoy your own vegetables all winter long as well.